Is this recording? Recording? Oh, ha- well, happy whatever day it is for you when you're watching this. Today, well, it's actually actually Thursday as I'm recording this uh, video. I um, My kids are excited. It's the days, two days left of school. Two days left of school and they're done for the year. So they're really excited. I'm really not. <laughs> So it just means I have kids running around uh, during the day instead of just uh, at night. Um, but good for them. Uh, Preston's finishing in second grade and Max is finishing up his sophomore year. Straight A's on both of them. How about that? Wow. So I'm happy and proud of them. We'll take them out for ice cream or something. I don't know. Tomorrow. If it's not raining. What's going on in your world? You still have school? Still have kids in school? Maybe coming home from college. Maybe you're getting ready for the summer. I was talking to a customer yesterday about that and what we're getting ready for and all the stuff we're going to travel. And um, and then we were we were diving into other things, other topics, and uh, and Zoom chat came up. My favorite topic, uh, Zoom chat, is is by far my favorite topic lately. With all the cool stuff that uh, that Zoom is been launching into zoom chat full disclosure i am an employee of zoom <laughs> i've i've worked there for two years now and uh i am not a spokesman for zoom i uh i am no figurehead uh, uh for zoom at all the, my own these are these are the opinions of myself and myself alone i just like to show cool stuff that that zoom does and and one of the cool things that zoom does is is one if you haven't seen me talk about zoom chat and sharepoint integration you need to enable this feature like today like yesterday it's it's the coolest feature to come out with zoom chat in a long time i'm not going to dive deep into what sharepoint integration is in the zoom chat world all you have to know is it's it's, it's super cool and you should do it uh, all the cool kids are doing it so if you're not doing it you're not going to be not going to be a cool kid sorry i don't i hate to break it to you but I have it enabled because I'm a cool kid. So I have SharePoint integration enabled on all my chat channels inside of Zoom chat. I was talking to a customer the other day that I was saying, hey, we have a bunch of receptionists and they all stay in the same channel uh, throughout the day uh, because they need to know who's in and who's out, who's on vacation, who's not, what time do they come in so they can transfer calls to these individuals. And, and what they do is basically... They send a spreadsheet out every every day to all all the uh, receptionists that are working, and everybody gets to read off the spreadsheet. If there's a change in the spreadsheet, they have to change, make a change, save it, and then resend it out to to everybody uh, as that, are, that is working as well. And hopefully, the, those people that are working are actually checking email and and stuff. And I was like, you know what? There's a way easier way to do this, and, and let's do it this way. What if we created a channel just for the receptionists alone, and they can stay in that channel all the time? They could chat with the other receptionists because they have receptionists all over the world. So they're all inside this channel all the time, talking to each other, making sure their their phone calls are getting transferred and, and parked and, and picked up and, and forwarded the appropriate way. So these receptionists are constantly in a channel. So I said, first thing we're going to do is make a channel dedicated to the receptionists alone. So just them are in there and and you can make it private. So only the receptionists can actually have access to it. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to make it SharePoint uh, integrated. We're going to integrate that SharePoint channel, that, that Zoom channel uh, as a SharePoint channel. That way, what we can do then is create a file called receptionist Word document or pick a file, receptionist Excel spreadsheet. Does it really matter? Right? So what we did was we created this receptionist Word document like right here. Like you're literally seeing it right there. I created, this is an example, obviously. I created a, 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 a Word document for for demonstration purposes only. And what this allows me to do is then showcase what the receptionists are trying to solve. They're trying to have one single document that everyone has access to that's constantly updated. Well, we just did that. What we did was we created a SharePoint channel. We uploaded this receptionist document into the SharePoint channel. This document is now dynamic and live all the time. Now every single receptionist that's part of this channel can go in here and look at this live document, this dynamic document that's updated all the time, real time. Now, when a document gets updated, no one has to save it and go and, and send it to everybody. What you can do, literally what you can do, watch up here, by the way, watch what I'm, it says saved right now, but watch what happens when I'm going to say 12, uh, 12 o'clock. Look at that. It's going to saving now. So now you've opened up 
a, a Zoom chat channel that's SharePoint integrated. You've uploaded this document that all the receptionists need into the Zoom chat channel. Now this document is live living in your SharePoint site. Now, anytime a receptionist comes into the channel and opens up this document, they're going to get the latest and greatest. They don't have to save it. They don't have to send it out in email. They don't have to share it. It's shared automatically. And here's what we're going to do even more so. Because what happens is this document gets, gets lost down here, right? As people start chatting and it gets lost in the bottom, here's what we can do. We can pin it. We could pin that document for everyone in the channel. And what that does is, boom, it pins it to the top. There's a little pin, receptionist Word doc. So no matter where you're at in the document, at any time you, you're, you're up here, and you can't, you can't remember where that document's at, all you have to do is click on the pin document. And as soon as you leave the channel, right, to go somewhere else, you're going to come back in here to the SharePoint channel, and boom, it's still pinned right up here. That solved a simple workflow problem that a customer was having. Just with a little thought and a little ingenuity, they have now solved their problem. They created a receptionist SharePoint channel, integrated it with SharePoint, put a file in it that all the receptionists need, pin that file, and now their workflow is optimized. Their workflow's more efficient. And it's simple things like that that they just didn't know how to do that obviously I did, and I'm like, hey, here's here's a better thought. Here's a way I would do it. Maybe that works for you, and it did, right? And it's just simple ways. That this SharePoint integration within Zoom Chat really is simplifying the workflow process within Zoom today because now I've let those receptionists live in Zoom entirely. In the past, they had to get out of Zoom, maybe open up a web browser, maybe open up a Word doc. So you had to open up two and three different documents or different uh, applications to do one thing. Now they can typically, they can stay inside of Zoom chat, utilizing the power of SharePoint integration and the power of Office 365 co-authoring, all now part of that ecosystem in Zoom. Hope that was helpful.